surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Created a space Hey guys, I'm starting off this DIY with a large cup A small cup And I'm also going to be using bowls that come in this set, but I'll be using just one of it and removing the bottom using a soldering iron. So I removed the bottom for the bowl and both cups. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue all three items together. I made marks where I intend to glue the handles. And then after that, I got gems from Walmart. This gem is self-adhesive, but just to be on the safe side, I'm going to glue them all around using a hot glue gun. Leaving out the part where I marked for the handles. I got these pools from Walmart, spray painted them gold and then glued them on. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I got this candle holder from the thrift store, spray painted it gold and used it for the base. Now there are two words that come to mind for this vase, unique and cute. The second vase is also a thrift find. Now I'm going to be decorating this second vase using the hydro dipping technique. I used this technique for another video and in this video I used it to decorate an empty box that was transformed to a beautiful storage. Now the link for this video is going to be in the description box below. Now because I was so eager to try this technique out using different colors, I got this vase and I'm going to be using gold spray paint, white spray paint, and navy blue spray paint. For the hydro dipping process, you will need a large bowl of water, but I've used this bowl before so excuse the mess. This is how I'm going to be starting off with a spray paint into the water with a white, gold, navy blue and then it goes on and on until it forms a combination of colors that I would like to use. Here I'm just going to use a skewer to draw a few lines so that I'm going to have a little bit of lines on the vase. Now that that is done, I'm going to take my vase and dip it in just around the surface and then turn it as it is inside the water so that the paint can adhere to the vase. As I took it out, I used the blow dryer and started drying off the water. Using a blow dryer can be a little bit time consuming, so what I did was to use paper towels and I just pat it lightly and then I left it for about an hour to completely dry and this is what it looks like. The line there was the line that I drew with a skewer and it looks like marble mixed with blue and gold. Now I'm going to use Mod Podge all around the vase as a protective layer and to also give it a glossy shine. After it was dry, I went round again with another layer of Mod Podge. Now it has a bright, clear, glossy ceramic look when it was dry. I got this golden trim from Hobby Lobby and I'll be cutting it in singular strips 
to decorate the top and the bottom of the vase. I wanted this vase to have something a little bit extra and unique at the bottom so I got this buffet warmer from the thrift store and I got it as a whole set like this but then this is the only part that I'm interested in and I spray painted it gold. I kept that aside and then I wanted showing you guys this Christmas ornament bell that I cut and use the large part to decorate a vase that I made and the link for this video is going to be in the description box below as well. Now the little part that I cut out was not thrown away. I kept it because that's what I do. I always keep little little bits of things that I know I might need for another project. Now I'm going to remove this part here and then glue this whole piece to the bottom of the buffet warmer. Now this is how the vase is going to sit on it. And I'm going to be covering this part here with the same golden trim that I used for the top and the bottom of the vase. I added some gems to the design. This is another small piece that came out from the Christmas bell that I'm going to be gluing right here at the bottom. This is a golden piece that I got from a chain sold at Hobby Lobby and I removed three of these pieces and then glued them here with a hot glue gun and an E6000 glue. This is such a unique vase and I love the way this turned out and I want something a little bit bigger so in the future I'm gonna make something much bigger that's gonna be like a large floor vase with this exact design. This is another interesting vase that was made using simple everyday items. added string lights inside and it's so beautiful. Don't forget to check out this video using Hydro Dippin to decorate a box converted to a fancy storage and the link for the video will be in the description box below. I am so pleased with the results of this project that I embarked on and I hope you guys enjoy this video. And remember to like and share with your friends and families. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below. Do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.